Hello everybody. Potty boy, as usual. <laughs> well, wouldn't be anybody else. <laughs> um, I'm just doing this quick little video because um, just as soon as I turn my computer on, um, uh, the post uh, was delivered. And through the post, I got this. This is the uh, 100th issue of Retro Gamer. And like I can tell it looks fantastic. And uh, as a and uh, as a little bonus feature, I, I, I did like the idea of this. This uh, you get a copy of the first issue. <laughs> Very good. I've actually got a copy of the first issue, but I mean, obviously, this is uh, this one's obviously slightly different. You know, uh, this is it. Yeah, this is a reprint, not for sale. Cover disc not included. So, uh, but yeah, it is a reprint of the uh, first issue. It's, it's off. I keep looking down down there. It's because the screen, my screen is there, but the uh, the eyesight thingy was it's there. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, yeah, fantastic. So, Retro Gamer, happy 100th issue. Um, I haven't, obviously, you can see I haven't, I haven't opened, it, opened it up yet. I shall give it a read through later. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, basically, um, uh, basically, my story with Retro Gamer magazine is that, um, uh, well, I saw, I saw, you know, uh, it was quite a few years ago, probably about, about 2004, probably about 2004 actually. Um, uh, basically, basically um, at, at the time, yeah, we had, like, yeah, at the time, the systems I had at the time, yeah, I was playing on the old PS2 and whatnot and things, and uh, and whilst well, 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 there's a lot of great, you know, great games available for the system and things, yeah, I was kind of like, I was thinking, you, you know, what, they they don't make games like they used to, uh, yeah, because I was remembering back to my childhood playing games like you know, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Bomb Jack, yeah, on, you know, on the old C64 <laughs> and whatnot, and all the classic games like Sonic the Hedgehog and. Uh, they they didn't make them like they used to, and I thought, it, yeah, whilst it's nice playing, or whilst it's great to play a lot of the, the new stuff and what of things at the time, time uh, yeah, I thought every now and then it was just nice to get out the old system and uh, play about on it. Um, and uh, basically, I went one day I was just walking around H uh, and V, uh, the games and stuff, and they had all the magazines there as well. And uh, one magazine I had there was called Retro Gamer, and uh, I saw the first couple of issues. I thought, oh, you know, it looks, you know, it looks quite interesting and stuff. But you, you know, I just sort of like, you know, just sort of like pondered on and whatnot. And uh, one, then uh, one one day I was just sort of like, yeah, I saw an issue. I think it was issue eight. I thought, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. Uh, I'm going to see what it's like. So I bought issue eight. So that I think that one they were talking about. Um, I think that was an issue where right, they were talking about uh, uh, they, had, uh, they were talking about uh, what's what, what that game coming up? Uh, Craft Gold. They were talking about, um, and of course the uh, the cover disc had their like their complete collection of games on uh, with yeah, you have, yeah it's ROMs with emulators and whatnot. And uh, no, and uh, that was a, that was good fun. I discovered quite a few classics, some of which I already knew. I already knew of games like um, uh, Super Off Road and uh, things like and. Uh, Iridium, um, and um, and of course they had uh, they had a video footage of the uh, the the, uh, the Conix multi system, you know, which is a great system that never got released. Um, you know, there's a lot of hype surrounding it. You know, all the add-ons and whatnot. Um, and uh, the magazine have some really good features. And I thought, you know, I really like this uh, magazine. So I bought I bought the next couple of issues, and I enjoyed every single one of them immensely. And uh, but and of course, bear in mind, uh, you know, Virtual Gamer was quite different back then to what it is now, because uh, it because uh, initially the first the first eighteen issues were published by Live Publishing before before they went under, and then uh, in November two thousand five, uh, and back back in uh, later in two thousand five, uh, Imagine Publishing got the rights to uh, do the magazine, and uh, it's been you know they published their first issue uh, issue. I think, it was issue, I think it was issue 19, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they published issue 19 in uh, November 2005. And um, it's uh, been like that ever, ever since. And uh, I think, and I think from then on, it's gotten, you know, it's gotten better and better. And I've, it's a fantastic magazine. If you haven't read it, you know, where have you been? So <laughs> that's, what, that's what I have to say. Um, but yeah, yeah, fantastic magazine. Really love this one. It's probably probably one of the best magazines I've ever subscribed to. Um, you know, uh, it's 
it, it's it's just great overall. Um, anyway, so um, I'd like to wish uh, the guys at Retro Gamer, you know, like likes of Darren and Co. Um, I'd like to wish you know, a very very happy 100th issue, and here's to another 100 issues. So I should uh, well bye for now. <laughs>